Hello lovelies, I am so glad to see you and as always, I hope you are staying happy and healthy. Today I am really excited and that is because the heat and the sunshine have finally arrived, at least where I live. And I have to tell you, they have never been more welcome. And all this heat and sunshine has got me in the mood for some delicious frosty drinks. So today I'm going to be sharing frosted lemonade three delicious ways. So I'm going to get started today with a nice classic frosted lemonade, and then I'm going to show you two tasty twists that I think you guys are going to love. Now, as with most homemade lemonade recipes, this one all starts with some simple syrup. If you're not familiar, just as the name suggests, it is really simple to make, but basically it is a liquid sweetener and it's perfect for adding to cold drinks. You know, the kind of drinks where regular sugar just wouldn't be able to dissolve. Basically what we're doing is we're going to start with one part sugar in a small saucepan and one part water. Now I am using half a cup of sugar and half a cup of water here. Now I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask in the comment section whether the sugar in this recipe can be replaced by something like honey, and the answer is definitely yes, but you'll wanna do this very same process with your honey. You basically wanna dissolve it in some water. It's going to help dilute it, and of course, you let it mix in to our frosted lemonade a little better. Now after just a couple of minutes, you'll notice the sugar granules are completely dissolved, and that means we are ready to turn the heat off on this and we're just going to basically let it cool completely before adding it to our yummy drink. Now it's just a matter of bringing everything together in our blender. You could also do this in a food processor if you wanted to, both will work really well. So first, we are going to be adding our simple syrup to the bowl of our blender. Now you can decide how sweet or not that you want this mixture, so use your discretion. You could add a little simple syrup first, then give it a taste and re-blend if it's not sweet enough. Totally up to you. Next, of course, it wouldn't be lemonade without our lemon, and this is about half a cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. I cannot tell you how important freshly squeezed is. If you don't already have a citrus press like this to help you press your lemons, I highly recommend you get one. It is one of my favorite kitchen tools and comes in really handy when you're making three delicious frosted lemonade recipes like I'm doing today. Next, for our creaminess here, we are adding some coconut milk. I'm using light coconut milk here, but you can use full fat if you want to. This is basically the same kind of coconut milk that you find canned, um, usually in the international aisle at your supermarket. And then it's just a matter of adding some ice to this because we wanna get it nice and frosty, almost like a Slurpee kind of. Uh, and we're just going to get our ice right into our blender. And then we'll just pop a lid on this and let it blend away. If you want your frosted lemonade to be a little on the thicker side, you can go ahead and add some more ice. If you want it on the thinner side, you can go ahead and add a little less. It is definitely up to you what sort of texture you wanna end up with. Now this is definitely one of those drinks you want to enjoy right away, so I highly recommend just pouring yourself a nice big glass. I think you guys are absolutely going to love this one because it's super creamy with that coconut milk. It's got a nice tang thanks to the lemon juice. And then of course it's got a good amount of sweetness because of our simple syrup. So it's beautifully balanced and oh so refreshing. Now, if you guys wanna take this recipe to the next level, which of course I always do, I highly recommend you try these next two tasty twists, starting with this yummy tropical version. Now, of course, because this already involves some coconut milk, it just felt right to add even more great tropical flavors like some pineapple and some mango, which is what I'm doing here. Once again, we're starting with our simple syrup. We're gonna get that into our blender. Then I've got my freshly squeezed lemon juice. If you wanted to do this with a little bit of orange juice as well, that would be super delicious. It just occurred to me. Um, I'm also going to be adding my coconut milk here. Next, I'm going to get my pineapple into the blender. So I'm using frozen fruit in this recipe, which means you can use a little bit less ice. But if you wanted to go ahead and use fresh instead, you definitely could, that would work as well. I like the frozen fruit because it's going to give this a really creamy consistency when it's done blending. Then I'm going to get my ice into my blender and we are just going to let the blender do its work. As soon as it's nice and smooth, it is ready to be enjoyed, and I honestly think you guys are going to love this. Now, of course, this yumminess is super delicious all on its own, 
But if you find yourself in the mood for a more adult drink, you could go ahead and add a splash of coconut rum to this. And what you'd end up with is almost like a pina colada lemonade that seriously tastes like a vacation in the Caribbean. And let's be honest, who among us is not dreaming of a vacation in the Caribbean these days? Is that just me? Finally, guys, I've got another incredibly yummy variation for you to try. It is a raspberry peach frosted lemonade. And oh my gosh, the taste of raspberry and peach mixed with this amazing lemonade is just going to blow your mind. I'm going to be starting once again by making my simple syrup, a little bit of sugar and then some water in my pot. But I'm also going to add one step. I'm going to be infusing that simple syrup with some fresh raspberries. Yeah, so basically I have a cup of fresh raspberries here. I'm just going to get them in the pot. And what I'm going to do is let these simmer away on medium heat for between six and eight minutes. I just wanna give those raspberries a chance to burst and really infuse that simple syrup with delicious flavor. After six to eight minutes, I'm just going to strain the raspberries out of this mixture using a sieve. The best part is you don't need to discard the leftover raspberries. You can add them to some oatmeal or pour them over some ice cream. There's lots of great uses for them still. But what I am most interested in is this amazing raspberry simple syrup. To that, I'm also going to be adding my lemon juice and my coconut milk. And then I am going to get in here with some peaches. Now I am using some frozen peach slices because that's what I had on hand. But if you wanted to use fresh in this recipe, that is definitely a great option as well. I'm going to finish this off with some ice, pop a lid on and let it blend away. And oh my gosh, guys, how pretty is this? Honestly, guys, this seriously tastes like pink lemonade, except better. It's nice and tangy thanks to the raspberries, plus a little sweet thanks to the peaches, and of course, super frosty and the perfect way to beat the heat. I hope you guys will give all three of these yummy ideas a try, and if you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo, because you know how much I love seeing your kitchen creations. Remember, the full recipes are linked in the description box below, so you can find them there. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.